Prayer Agajanana Padmarkam Gajananam Maharnisham Anekadantam Bhaktanam Yekadantam Upasmahe Sarasvati Namaskubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyaram Bhankarishyami Siddhirbhatum Sada Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Hope there may be a slow internet from my side. And the rain has not yet over here. So in the last two class, from Varaha Avatara of the previous class, we sidetracked to Narakasura for Deepavali today. Then we are telling about two types of grace of Bhagavan for good people and bad people or wrong people, adharmic people. We got into the story of Lord Kartikeya. Sri Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 10th chapter, Sena Neenam Aram Khandaha. In the same chapter he says, Vainate Yatsa Kakshina. Amanta Pakshi is bad, I am Garuda. And some other place he says, Rudranam Shankara Chatvi. Another place he says, Devar Shrinam Naradaha. So those are all the characters coming and going in our stories. So we will keep that in my mind, in, in your mind. Yes, yes, Vibhuni Matkattam Srimad Urjita Mevava Kattat Keva Avagachattam Mama Tejo Amisha Sampalam. So whatever has some unique qualities, great qualities, please know that is myself. So Bhagavan takes many avatars, not only Rama and Krishna, he only took avatar of Kartikeya also and so on. In the coming class we may be seeing Katatre Avatar after one or two class. That is also by Lord only. It is not only just ten avatars, there are so many avatars of Bhagavan. Last class I told because Arthika women, six of them, took care of Lord Kartikeya. They were given the boon by Bhagavan Shiva Shankara that whoever worshipped Lord Kartikeya on Kritika Nakshatra, they will be blessed. So every month there will be a Kritika Nakshatra celebration all over many places, particularly in Rishikesh, uh, Kovilur Mat, 
Vedanta Ashram also, where we went in our course time. So there is monthly celebration. Shivaratri also occurs every month. Still, Mahashi Masa Shivaratri. We celebrate at Mahashivaratri in a grand manner. Same way, Kritika Nakshatra also is celebrated in a grand manner in the coming month. So now this is Vrishika Masa by Kerala calendar, Aipasi Masa in our calendar. Kerala and Tamil Nadu follows the same solar calendar, but Kerala gives the name based on the Rashi where the Surya is traveling. So now it is traveling the Vrishika Rashi and the next month it will travel in the Danus Rashi. Then uh, Sorry, now it is in Tula Rasi, after two days, that is on, from Wednesday onwards, it will travel on Vrishika Rasi. So now it is Tula Masa for uh, Kerala, next will be Vrishika Masa. In Tamil Nadu, though we follow solar calendar, the naming system is based on when Pauramya occurs, in which nakshatra it occurs. Pauramya is a city, that city occurs in which nakshatra. So based on, if it occurs on Chitra Nakshatra, then it will be called Saitra Masa. So, in the coming month, it will occur on Kritika Nakshatra, so it is called Kartika Masa. So, from Pratasi onward, it is called festive season in India. All people will be happy. There will be lot of business going on. In Pratasi Masa, we found that Navaratri was celebrated. Then, Aitasi, Aspija Nakshatra, Rashvini Nakshatra, that Gaurami occurred, so it is called Aitasi. So in that month, we saw Deepavali, then Sura Samharam and so on. In Kartika Masa we will be seeing Krit Kartikai. We saw Deepavali means the line of lamps. You might have heard that in Ayodhya they made a Guinness record. Every year they are creating a record on line of lakhs, this uh, time it went above lakhs. Next uh, year they will beat this record also. So generally, Deepavali to its name, people decorate the house, village, lakh, temples, with a line of lamps. But for Tamil Nadu. Generally in Tamil Nadu they don't do that, to my knowledge. Deepavali is meant for, for celebration, new dress, firecrackers and the oil bath and so on in Tamil Nadu. But in Tamil Nadu the Deepavali will be, that means line of lamps will be Kritika month. Kritika Nakshatra day, particularly the Purnima day. That occurs in the coming Friday. Uh, Ashwini Bharani Kartike. That is the line of counting the Nakshatra. First we count Ashwini Nakshatra, then Bharani, then Kartike. The Bharani also, there, are, there is a custom in Tamil Nadu, they light the lamp. This is called Bharani 
దీపం దీపం మీన్స్ ల్యాంప్ దెన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ డే కృతిక నక్షత్రం ఆల్సో దైస్ ద ల్యాంప్ దట్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ కార్తికే దీపం పర్టికులర్ ఈయన తిరువన్నామలై డివైన్ ప్లేస్ ఇన్ తమిళనాడు శైవ కళ శివ ఇస్ వర్షిప్ అండ్ అరుణగిరి నాథర్ దర్ ఇస్ వన్ సైన్స్ హీ ఆల్సో బాన్ డేర్ ఓన్లీ ఐ మీన్ ఈ విజయం అరుణగిరి నాథ ద సైన్స్ దేర్ దెన్ ఆర్ రమణ మగిరిసి లివ్డ్ దేర్ యోగి రామ్ సూరత్ కుమార్ లివ్ దేర్ సో మెనీ సైన్స్ శేషాద్రి స్వామి సో ఆన్ సో నవ డేస్ ఇట్ బిగేమ్ రిషికేష్ ఆఫ్ తమిళనాడు సో మెనీ పీపుల్ వుడ్ లైక్ టు గో టు తిరువనామలై అండ్ రజనీకాంత్ కేమ్ దేర్ సో రజనీ డివోటీ స్టార్టెడ్ కమింగ్ ఇళయ రాజా కేమ్ దేర్ ద మ్యూజిషియన్ సో మెనీ పీపుల్ నవ డేస్ గో టు తిరువనామలై అండ్ టేక్ పార్ట్ ఇన్ ద అరౌండ్ థర్టీ కిలోమీటర్ ప్రథమ మంత్రం గిరి వలం దేశే కమింగ్ అరౌండ్ ద హిల్ విత్ ఈ కన్సిడర్ అస్ లాడ్ భగవాన్ శివ సో కార్తికేయ దీపం ఆన్ కృతిక నక్షత్ర ఆర్ ద పౌర్ణమి డే ఎవరి హౌస్ విల్ బి లైటింగ్ ల్యాంప్ లైన్ ఆఫ్ ల్యాంప్ సో తమిళనాడు ఒరిజినల్ దీపావళి విల్ బి ఇన్ దిస్ డే ద కమింగ్ ఫ్రైడే ద తిరువన్నామలై టెంపుల్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్ అమన్ ద ఫైవ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టెంపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ శివ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద ఎలిమెంట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆకాశ వాయు అగ్ని అప్పు ఆర్జలం పృథ్వి ద ఆకాశ టెంపుల్ ఈస్ శ్రీ నటరాజ టెంపుల్ ఇన్ తిల్లై చిదంబరం నటరాజర్ టెంపుల్ దేశే ద చిదంబరం నటరాజర్ టెంపుల్ ఈ సార్ రిప్రజెంటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆకాశ ఎలిమెంట్ సో దే షో యూ ద ఆకాశ దేర్ టు ఇండికేట్ ద ఆకాశ దేర్ విల్ బి ఎ గోల్డెన్ బిల్వ లీవ్ దెన్ ద వాయు స్థల విల్ బి శ్రీ కాళహస్తి నవ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇన్ తమిళనాడు ఇట్ వాస్ ఇన్ ఓల్డ్ తమిళనాడు నవ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ఆంధ్ర శ్రీ కాళహస్తి వేర్ ద గ్రేట్ నాయన్మార్ కన్నప్ప నాయనార్ టు బర్త్ దేర్ టు బర్త్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ హీ బిగిన్ కన్నప్ప నాయనార్ దేర్ someday we may see the story if time permits uh, today itself then the agni thala is tiruvannamalai uh, tiruvannamalai has another quality also they say if one dies in kashi then he will attain mukti moksha so generally all over in bharat people will go to kashi in their old age nowadays many facilities are available flight train and so on so people whenever they want they go to kashi but in the olden days it is not the case generally in the old days they go to kashi so kashi nu maran surat nu jaman 
Berita saya ini Gujarat, orang tuh dayin kaki, orang tuh ijin surat. So surat means delicious food. So berat saya saya, but tiada nama lagi is consider as even if you think of tiada nama lagi, that is enough for you to attain mukti. Minaiknya mukti tiada nama lagi. Marikya Mukti Thati. So remembering Dhrivanamale will itself give you Mukti Moksha. So in that way also Dhrivanamale is very famous. Then uh, the Jala Aksthalam will be Thiruvanai Kaval Jalagandeshwara. The Swami name is called Jalagandeshwara. By the way, I remembered another one thing that Gunavati Amma took birth in Pratasi Thiruvanam, I suppose. Thiru Vengada Perumal also, that is Sri Balaji, also took birth in Pratasi Thiruvanam, it seems. And another one Vaishnava saint called Vedanda Deshika. He also took birth there. Hmm. Then there is a Swami called Deva Nayakam, Deva Nayakam you can say, he belongs to Sri Vahindra Puram, Sri Vahindra Puram. Though it is not connected with our class today, there is a Christian person called Deva, uh, sorry, Deva Nayakam, Deva Nayakam, uh, same name of Pirumal, like Vishnu, who writes a book, he wrote a book called Thiruvalluvar is a Christian. And he preaches so many things, but of course all the things are nonsense, so I call them Kumutai. Uh, so that's by sight. So Jalakandeshwaram, Jalakandeshwaram, for me we call Thiruvani Kaval because the elephant cannot go inside the temple, it is constructed in such a way. I told some classes back that story also in a little fashion. There was a spider which was building a covering for Shivalinga. Then uh, as your ship, there was a elephant which used to sprinkle water do Abhishekam for the same Shivalinga. So whenever this uh, elephant does that Abhisheka, the spider's web will be destroyed. So it happened day by day, the spider got wild. Once it got into the elephant's trunk, no, so the elephant has no other way but to feed itself and the spider also got killed in the process, the elephant also got killed. Later the spider took birth as Chodan Kochengana. Then he constructed this Thiruvani Kaval temple. He decided no elephant should come in there. So this is called Thiru Anai Kaval. Anai means elephant. Kaval means protected from element, elephant. So Thiruvani Kaval. Then the Thiri Thalam. That is Kanchi Puram. Kanchi Kailasa Nasa temple. So, Kanji has so many temples. Among them, the Kailasa Nasa temple is considered as the Prithvi. The whole temple is constructed with sand. Even today it stands and the important are very interesting thing about the temple is 
I have visited the temple along with Swami Nityananda. In those days he was called Brahmachari Rajasekhar. He only took me to Kanchipuram. So in that temple, uh, the Shivalinga will be very huge. And uh, by the side, to our uh, left side we can say, when we face the Shivalinga, there will be a, a square opening. We can go inside. It is like a samsara dwar. If we take birth in this well, when we forget, we cannot see the Lord. So when you get into the hole, square hole, generally a person go inside of normal body, not a fat people, and then uh, you won't see the Shivalinga. After uh, entering the small hole, you can stand, I suppose, to my knowledge, we can stand also. Then you come around, then there is the exit opening. It will be a little, uh, what do you say, kru, krura, vakra opening. Bend that opening. So, very difficult to come out of that opening for even normal people. Once you come out of that opening, then you will be able to see Bhagavan again. Uh, same manner I have seen something from other temple also, I don't remember, some North India maybe. Uh, so that is the speciality of Kailasanatha temple in Kantivaram. It is considered Prithiri Sthala of Parshyogarva. So Panjabhuta Sthala, Chitambaram Nataraja, Sri Kalagasti, Thiruvannamalai, Arnaat Chaleshwara, Thiruvani Kaval Jalagandeshwara, Khanchi Kailasanatha Temple. So in Thiruvannamalai they will have a huge vessel. In that they will have lot of cotton. Cotton means cotton coat. Then lot of oil. There is a measure for that. How much oil, how much there should be the vessel size and how much length should be the cloth and all. And they will light the lamp. Around from 10 to 15 kilometers people can see the lights from the top of the mountain. I mean from the from the house, the lamp from which is there in the top, they can see. And there is a custom, many people after seeing the lamp only, they will finish their bratha, then they take their food. In other places of Tamil Nadu, people will light lamp in their home, temples and so on. This is called a Kartike Vratha. There is a story behind this Arnachaleshwara temple which is connected with Kena Upanishad. There is a Upanishad called Kena Upanishad because it starts with the word called Kena Ishitam Patati Preshitam. In Tamil also in Tolgapiyam he gives the custom details, how a book will be named. Tirukural is named Tirukural because it consists of Kuratpa, the Sandha Kural. Gayatri Mandra is named as Gayatri because it consists of the Sandha of Gayatri. Originally it is Savitri Mandra because it talks about Savitru Devata which is Surya. The same way, Konde Vendan, book is called Konde Vendan because it uh, starts with Konde Vendan words. Attitude is called 
ಉತ್ತಮಾಧಿಕಾರಿ in that portion for adama adhikari it narrates a story which indicates the philosophy so there was a war between asura and deva deva won the war then they were in the celebration of winning the war and they were talking about how they fought in the war how they killed the asura how, how mighty they are so they were giving the scripts and like that so when hearing their dhamba they are boasting about their pride the bhagavan could not handle that so he decided to teach them a lesson he took a flame form a flame means there is no root no top can be seen such a high huge pillar like flame then uh, this devas got away then uh, the their captain their leader indra sent agni he is uh, the lord of flame also so you please go and find out which is this we have not seen uh, at all earlier please go and find out then the agni came in front of the flame so he coming itself it came with all pride then the flame asked him who are you then akini are you asking who am i i am the all powerful agni devata my name is jata veda also i know whatever to bear Uh, or otherwise i know everything from my birth also such a great knowledgeable person you are asking me who are you the whole world knows me who are you agni asked to the flame then the flame told i don't know you if you are such a great person why don't you burn this grass totally dried to the core a small grass it put the grass in front of the agni let me see your poise your greatness power please burn this grass agni thai try try in tamil we use vinay kohe proper context all three times agni try agni could not burn the blade of grass then without telling anything agni went back silently to indra and it sat silently in its asana seat from the way agni came back indra understood it fell in its mission so indra asked why you why don't you go and find out 
then why you came with all its cyclonic power, a pain to the flame of pillar. In Tamil we say, Sthanu. In Suchindram the deity is called Sthanu Nathan. So, Agni Sthanu came in front of that Agni Sthanu and Vayu also asked, Who are you? How did he come here? It is place of Devas. Then the flame asked back, Who are you? Then Agni, uh, Vayu told his, all his biodata, I am the Matarishwa. Matari, Swayati iti, Matarishwa. I could take anything, including the mountains and send them one place to another like a rocket. That is my power. I can throw away anything. Then the flame told Agni, sorry, Vayu, why don't you try to blow away this blade of grass which is so dry? And why you thought this is a naive flame? He didn't know anything of my power. Then the Vayu also tried its best. It could not do anything to the dried blade of grass. It also returned back and Indra understood without telling anything their failure. Then he himself decided to come to the plane because they are the chief people who are more powerful, Senadipatis, they themselves could not find out, so Indra decided to find out himself. Then he came to the play. But when he came, the play disappeared. Then Indra sat there in meditation to find out which may be the flame. Then Bhagavati Uma told him he is none other than the Brahman came there to teach them a lesson. They should be grateful to the Brahman Bhagavan for their victory. In fact, they were boasting their pride. So, God, Bhagavan got angry. So, he came there to teach them a lesson. So, then Indra realized their mistake and he bowed down before Uma Devi and returned back with a realization. So the God, Bhagavan, don't have a starting point, beginning and the end point. He is Anadi, Anandaha also. And his power also the same. And he is everywhere. So, 
in this way it was explained to, to the devas through the devas it is explained to us also in a story form the adama adhikaris can understand that better for adama adhikaris only in uh, celebrations also we prepare many sweets and so on snacks and so on Pro- we call it prasadam the prasadam is meant for an adama adhikari for the prasadam adama adhikari will come it come to the temple or puja then something will go inside when the upanyasa is happening then slowly they will get into the track of spirituality so the same story later took a different form in the prana time it is our tradition whatever is set in the upanishad or veda or only given in a different form in the purana for ordinary public they say the agni only later became vishnu the vayu sorry agni later became brahma the vayu later became vishnu and the ishvara later became the flame later became shiva so in prana they are god called brahma vishnu shiva so in every shiva temple majority is there behind the temple there will be a pillar like carving there will be lord shiva we cannot see the top of his head we cannot see the feet also the top there will be a hamsa pakshi uh, that is anna paravai there will be possibly brahma city then the below there will be a varaha picture bow the vishnu took the form of a bow and he tried to find out the bottom of that flame and brahma took the form of hamsa pakshi and he tried to find the top of the flame so there was a time brahma and vishnu were not in the altercation who is superior then they were giving in details of their power brahma was telling that i am the srishti karta brahma in veda adarvit known as hiranya garbha also vishnu is otherwise known as virat uh, then uh, shiva is otherwise known as ishvara hiranya garbha virat ishvara this term also we use in uh, upanishad then vishnu was telling do you do the creation i only protect them so i am superior and to this effect also there is another story in upanishad in the body every organ started claiming i am the superior so they decided let someone of us leave this body let us see what happens whether the body survives or not then every indriya organ started leaving the body eye started leaving ear started leaving mouth started leaving but nothing happened to the body though there is some shortage of the power but they could manage finally the vayu who is the ishara here he told 
let me leave the body when he just put his right leg out every organ chain surrender to the vayu please don't go don't go don't go because if you leave we not none of us can survive please don't go then they are realize vayu is the superior power in the body this is called a vayu upasana or prana upasana in upanishad many a places this comes prana upasana okay so in the same manner there was a altercation between brahma and vishnu so why the altercation was going on there came a flame like it happened in kena upanishad and they wondered about the flame then there was a ashayidi a sound with a form if you think you are superior please find the top and bottom of me then as vishnu already has the experience of taking varah avatara and picking the ground going to the bottom he took our varah avatara and started going down drilling the yes then brahma decided he has the vahanam his chariot or vehicle called hamsa pakshi so he went in that both of them were going it was going like a line this time plus 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 this side minus 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 there is no end both were going 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 finally vishnu understood quickly that it is a worthless endeavor let me go back and surrender to the lord bhagavan shiva who came in the form of flame so vishnu came back and surrendered to shiva brahma was going 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 when he was going he found a tarambu i don't know what they call in english there is a flower generally it is available in the shisho uh it is actually a leaf like flower only uh very very fragrant magiri nid gandham madali nid thaale avayar has a verb on that she says there is the leaf of thaale is very fragrant the flower of magira maram is very fragrant madali nid thaale magiri nid gandham so that flower is coming down actually somebody worshiped the lord shiva it was on his top and it was coming down and brahma took an interview of that saram let us consider as a flower saram bu he was in enquiring that tarambu that flower hey where are you coming from she the flower told i am coming from the top of this place and uh, till how long when they can reach when that flower told i don't know when they started my journey it was yugas and yugas and yugas then raised infinity saiva you put there is no end to this so i don't know i don't think you can also reach there then brahma want to prove his superiority so he told the flower see you do one favor for me let us together 
go down. There will be my opponent called Shiva, uh, sorry, Vishnu, Narayana. We had a bet. I was alerted to reach the top, he was alerted to reach the da- bottom. Possibly he might have not reached the bottom, he might have returned back. So when I returned back, he will be there. You should tell him that I reached the top and took you as a sakshi, as a proof. So you are my proof, you have to tell him that uh, I took you from the top of that flame curve. So I will be winning that bet. Initially, that flower refused. Then Brahma threatened the flower. Hey, if you don't accept my offer, I will curse you. Then uh, there is no other go. The flower accepted. Tarambu accepted. Both came down. They found Narayana. And they... Brahma told Narayana, see, I went to the top and uh, took this as a proof. Then the flame got wild and it cursed Brahma. As you told lie, you will you will not be having any temple for your worship. So that is one of the reasons we don't worship Brahma. The story goes like that. Then uh, he gave the curse to Tarambu, the flower. Hereafter, nobody should offer you to my worship. So, nobody offers Tarambu to Shiva, thereafter. Then, uh, this incident is mentioned in a lot of places in Thiru Murai, Panjiru Thiru Murai, the 12 books by Sambandha, Nana Sambandha, Tirunavu Karata, Sundara and so on. Malayanum Kanada Kedi Parangari, Kedi Parangaruni. The word goes like that. In that they say Malayanum Kanada. Kundaligam. Brahma and Vishnu could not see your starting and end. Uh, many a places such verse lines will be coming in all the same verses. So this is very prominent incident to prove the superiority of the Brahman. I am not saying Shiva. Saiva people can say that. I cannot afford to say that. You should understand this. Shiva, who is equal to Brahman, he cannot be figured out. Manova Akosaram. We say in some other way. So, Even if we think of Shiva or we are telling Shiva or we are telling uh, any other name, we should, uh, all such stories we should have this in, my, in our mind. Whether if the story is telling Narayana is superior, we should understand Narayana as the Brahman. If the story is telling Shakti is superior, we should understand Shakti as superior. Because in uh, Abhirami Andaji, Abrahamic butter will be speaking in the, that stone. stone. <coughs> so, our Ishta Deva, who took form, is originally the Brahman. The Brahman, due to our devotion, came in the form of our Ishta Deva, so that we can worship him, we can meditate on him, So we should understand this in this way. Uh, 
we need not fight on ourselves which is very silly thing <coughs> even rigveda say ekam tat vibra bahuda vadanti so the truth is one the great people named them differently they have given their many names many forms here i want to there there is one portion i have not started <coughs> giving the details of different murtis deities how to identify different deities what are the significance they will be having what will be their token what will be their vehicle who will be their power shakti what are all the appearance they will be having so there is a lesson actually it should have come earlier but due to the flow of our topic mahabharata came in between so we didn't touch the topic so sometime we will touch that also the main point is don't get confused by different names and forms See, even if you are a Vishnu Gatta, Vishnu has thousands of names, Vishnu Sahasra Nama, and he has thousands of forms. So, Ananda, which is your original Vishnu, the question will rise. These are all the things our elders created not to get confused. So, we should not get confused by hearing many names, many forms. there is we should not take only vishnu is superior only shiva is superior from brahmachari from maharashtra who is a friend in rishikesh to me he told me a story he asked me do you know why shiva puts tripundra and shiva is sitting in meditation do you know who is med he is meditating on i told you no he told tripundra is the symbol of vishnu so in memory of vishnu in reverence of vishnu he shiva has put tripundra and he is meditating on lord vishnu and nama he is or this way or this way whatever way Nama is the symbol of Shiva. So, in reverence of Shiva, Vishnu put there, and Vishnu is in meditation on Shiva. That, is, in simple way, in Tamil we say, Ariyam Shivanu Mannu, Ariyalam Vaiyila Mannu. So, there is no difference between between Hari and Hara. Of course, even in Sanskrit, root both came from three root. both have had to have the same meaning hari through root if it takes e with n then it will become hari if it takes a with the rayan then it will become hara hara we take as shiva hari we take as vishnu but both are from the same root same word same meaning so we should not get confused we are not getting confused when we see a person in different costumes we are not get confused when we see a person from his childhood to elder age old age go his form changes his appearance changes his tone changes his way of looking at interacting changes still we consider him as the same person so that and for a same person there may be many names also somebody calls him son you consider this along with uh, women also brother father 
grandfather thought and son, sometimes they even some same person can have, can have many names also. Generally here, uh, they where there is a custom, they will put a grandfather's name to or grandmother's name to children. The daughter-in-law cannot call in that name because it is the elder's name. So she will be having a pet name. Ammo, Tambi, Kuta, Kopi, whatever name they, they find out, they know, they will be having a pet name for that children. In some places, they will be having some other name also to call by the sister in law, that is by mother. Mother will be calling in uh, some other name, others will be calling in, uh, record name will be something different, or others will be calling in the pet name. So, because one has many names, he d- never becomes many. Because one has many appearance, he d- never becomes m- many. Because one has <coughs> many forms, one never becomes many. So, we have to keep this in mind. So, God is one, one and the same. God takes many forms and things. It is for us to understand many philosophies. We have many stories. Uh, Vishnu is angry, the mama of Kartikeya and uh, Vishnu only took Meenakshi the hands of Shokanada or Sundareshwara, Meenakshi Shokanada marriage. And uh, Parvati is otherwise known as Vaishnavi because she is and the younger sister of Vishnu. So this story we have, we should not forget them. They are all one family, they are all one, not only one family, they are all one. So we should not get confused by listening to such stories, Prani story. Uh, that, with that caution, uh, let us end the class here. Pray. Om Sati Prajavya Paripalayanta Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahisha Go Brahmane Vyashubhamasunityam Loka Samastha Suchino Bhavantu Kale Vashatu Pajanya Vithivi Satyashalini Desho Yam Shobharahitaha Brahmana Santu Nirbhaya Sarve Bhavandu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kachit Dukha Bhag Bhavet Kariti Om Tapsat Sarvam Brahmar Parnamastu Shri Krishna Parnamastu Kirti Sri Vacha Nari now. Parvati, Saraswati Lakshmi, all is myself only. This is also there in the Vibhuti Yoga Bhagavad Gita. <coughs>